Thank you so much, everyone, for coming. I'm so excited tonight to be hosting the Blackout for my first time. This is awesome. The fall Florida is great. It's great. Uh, and, and you know, when I was asked to host the Blackout, it was early fall quarter. It was October, and uh, you know, the world was different. Uh, it, the, the election hadn't happened. I mean, the vine was still alive, right? <laughs> And the Cubs hadn't won the World Series in 108 years. I mean, things were, were pretty significantly different. So, you know, a, a lot has changed since then. It, it's just nice, you know, change, change isn't always bad. You know, Northwestern's still changing for the better. And, and just picture how this school is going to look in 2025. You're going to have light up glowy stairs, you know, glass walls that people can see through. I mean, the whole thing's going to look like a J.J. Abrams wet dream. <laughs> I mean, seriously, the, uh, the, but actually, uh, so, it's, so it's comforting to see, you know, uh, just those things that stay great, you know, the Northwestern Construction Project, things like that. Uh, and we love how computers will go so slow at times, you know? Uh, but, but actually, speaking of the future, Winter we, Quarter uh, will feature two new classes on the hit show Hamilton, uh, which the professors say, the professors say they, they hope the class, yeah, it's awesome, the professors say they hope the class will teach students that the musical wasn't exactly historically accurate. I mean, you know, the founding fathers, they didn't, they didn't rap, right? We can all do that. Um, you know, other course offerings, by the way, will be uh, professors are hoping to teach that cats couldn't sing, dogs couldn't play basketball, and trees couldn't talk to children. <laughs> um, but actually, on campus, uh, state of probations and sanctions from student conduct uh, has led some people to believe that the university is trying to weed out Greek culture. Um, which is a little crazy, yeah. But uh, said Greek culture, did someone say we? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. You can't make this stuff up, you know. <laughs> um, anyway, nationally, the Florida man allegedly stabbed a waiter at IHOP. Uh, Florida legalized the other thing. Uh, claiming food poisoning, which, I mean, which is too bad because his date was going so well. You know? Um, yeah, one date that did go well, actually, was Prince Harry is, is apparently now dating Northwestern alumna Meghan Markle. Uh, <laughs> Suits for those of you who don't know, but but don't worry, with Western women, there is some dreamy new American royalty for you. Let me show it to you. Oh yes, oh, oh isn't that wonderful? Yes, oh gruesome. Yes, and little Baron. Oh. <laughs> um, anyway, speaking of royalty, the college dean of Yale was just named the new provost of Northwestern, which which means he chose to leave Yale to come to Northwestern. That's pretty good. Right? Yeah. 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 So so if you're wondering. If this means Northwestern is a better school than Yale, it does not. And unfortunately, it's <laughs> uh, which, which is too bad. But, uh, but what's good about Northwestern, uh, in sports anyway, the Wildcats football team finished 6 and 6, and now they're bowl eligible. So that's cool. We all have a point. But hey, uh, here's the thing this is not fair. Look, look, look what I'm saying. How come when the football, the football team goes 6 and 6? The football team goes 6 and 6, wins half their games, and they're eligible for a bowl game. When I pass half my classes, I'm not eligible for graduation. That's, that's, I mean, honestly, the, the athletes, right? What's going on with the enrollment? I mean, but um, <laughs> it doesn't make any. Anyway, also in sports news, the, the sailing team last month went sailing. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> uh, in, in, in other team news, ski team. Um, ski team did not ski. <laughs> Uh, but the sailing team, you know, this past Tuesday was Giving Tuesday, we all saw that. We all got Facebook, we're all online, you know, that's great these days. Sailing team raised $30,000 for a new fleet of ships on Giving Tuesday, which is, which is cool, because it's so heartwarming to hear that, you know, in, in these trying times, you know, we can still focus on what matters, buying wealthy kids' boats. <laughs> Coming back to campus, and, and here's the thing: we're supposed to de-stress, but unfortunately, I, I can't get it out of my head. I'm sorry. I, I'm personally pretty stressed out about the fact that, that someone, somewhere, is shrinking America's horses. <laughs> <laughs> that's just not something. I, that's just not something I can predict. Um, one thing, so, also on campus, a new young Democratic Socialist chapter has been created on campus, which is, which is cool. Uh, the, the group shared some of their goals with us. Uh, with, with nice of them, including switching Willie the Wildcat with Vinnie the Buffer Cat. <laughs> it, should be, it should work out great for them. Uh, and and in, other, in other national news, uh, a Baltimore public school teacher was fired this month after cell phone footage revealed that she was scolding 
uh, students of color with, with racially charged uh, messages and abusive language. Um, so that, I mean, that was, that was horrible. This shocking story caused outrage, confusion among Northwestern students to the uh, most having no idea what public school is. <laughs> <laughs> Northwestern powerlifting was just officially recognized yesterday by the university as a sanctioned student organization, which is awesome for them. Get it's, still, it's great. Still waiting to receive funding, though, the Office of Financial Aid. Um, <laughs> they're gonna, powerlifting is really great, too. Um, you know, and, and the funny, so Mark Zuckerberg also in National News has announced uh, a new policy fighting the spread of misinformation and fake news articles on Facebook. Um, you guys heard about this? You know? I, I, on second thought, at least I think he's doing that. I, I actually saw it on Facebook. So I'm not, I'm, not totally, I'm not totally sure. The other thing you saw on Facebook was that this is going to be a great show. So I have no idea. Uh, but one thing I know for sure is that this show is going to keep going. We're going to take a break real quick, but we'll be right back with some more stuff.